Feeling hurts, feeling adversity, feeling the, the anxieties of life, the difficulties of life, is part of being an adult. We're not talking about getting away from that stuff necessarily. That is part of living. The superego is constantly trying to avoid that. It's like, don't do this, or you get into trouble. If you do, if you really focus and you do that right and don't make any mistakes, you won't have to be anxious. It's trying to protect us from life. But it's trying to protect us as if we were a, a little child. When it needed, we needed that kind of instruction, and we don't really need it anymore. But somehow we haven't quite clicked to that truth. So yeah, we will experience difficulties and hurts and pains. And that's how we grow. So it's a, in a way, it's a rel it may feel like a relinquishing of protection, a relinquishing of a kind of a mechanism for safety and security by letting go of the guidance system of our youth, our very young youth, and trying out a new guidance system, which is referencing ourselves. And we will make mistakes. And we'll deal with them. A superego tries to prevent us making mistakes. In a way, it doesn't allow us to grow. We need to make mistakes. We need to screw up. Learn from it. Because we don't intend to, intend to. It's just part of being human. <clears throat> so I wonder, I begin to wonder, what it is that keeps us engaged with this relationship? What's so important about this relationship with this uh, antiquated guidance system. What would we be facing if we didn't have our inner critic? What if we were free of judgment? I wonder what our beliefs are around that. It's like a, if I didn't have the inner critic, what would I do? Yikes. Maybe we believe we would become undiscerning. I won't be able to tell right from wrong. Really? Do we really need that damning, critical, evaluating, judgmental voice for us to tell what feels right and what feels wrong? Music